Impact Prayer is our opportunity in each congregation to gather together to pray God's purposes on earth as they are in heaven. When we agree with God and we agree with one another, there's a release of what God wants to do. So I want to encourage you, let's be part of the answer. Let's pray together. Let's move together so that we see everything that God wants to see take place in our towns, in our communities and where we live. We all have a story to share and we want to hear yours. This is why we're starting a brand new project called My Story. My Story is an opportunity for us as a church to say what God has done and is doing in our lives. If you have a story, whether it's a testimony of how you came to know Jesus, how you've seen him provide in your life, or even how you've seen him use you to change someone else's life, we would love to hear from you. We're going to be holding some My Story days on a Sunday straight after church in our Horsham congregation. But we want to hear stories from all over the 25 mile radius about what God is doing. If you feel a little bit nervous about being in front of a camera, then please don't worry. We have a team who are going to support you and help you to tell your story in the best way possible. So if you have a story that you would like to share, please come and see myself or go and sign up at the info point and we'll get back in touch with you of how we can get you in this chair to share your story. On Saturday, the 26th of October, we're gonna have a special day conference called Jerusalem Stumbling Block for the Nations. Now we've got a great friend of ours called Andrew Tucker who's going to be speaking that day and he's an international lawyer and he works with Christians for Israel and the Hague Initiative for International Cooperation. And in his roles with both those organisations, he works in the European Union and in the United Nations bringing legal advice uh, about Israel, about Jerusalem and on behalf of the Jewish people. So we're going to be looking at the, the legal, the historical and the biblical precedence that there is for Israel and Jerusalem. We're going to see what does that mean, not only for the people, the Jewish people, but what does it mean for us as Christians today in relation to that? And really, what are God's purposes that he's outworking today as part of his bigger plan of salvation? So it's going to be a fascinating day. God's going to really speak into our lives as a church in regards to Israel, Jerusalem and the Jewish people and what our response is to that. So you can book in on the website. It's going to be from 10 in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to have a great day together. So I encourage you, book in and uh, let's see what God wants to continue to do in our hearts and lives in regards to his purposes for his people, for Israel and for Jerusalem. Also coming up in the life of the church. This Saturday at 9.30am at Foundry Lane, we have our Women's Brunch. This is an opportunity for all women across all congregations to come together and share life with one another. Kingdom Faith Training College is a place to be equipped for leadership, life and ministry. There's still time to apply for our next college semester starting on the 7th of October. For more information, go to kf.church forward slash college. Dance on Injustice is a one-night event produced by Streetlight UK that hopes to have a lasting impact. Made from local dance groups and schools coming together to stand on the injustice of human trafficking and exploitation and to raise awareness. Book your tickets and come along on Wednesday 30th of October at the Hall Theatre in Crawley. For more information visit danceoninjustice.com for more information on upcoming events and to find this month's reading plan, pick up a calendar from the info point or find us online or social media.